And welcome back everyone, this is Michael at RBM Crypto. This short video will be showing you how to safely store your Ripple, XRP, and your Tracer hardware wallet. In this short demo, I'm gonna show you how to safely withdraw Ripple from an exchange account to your Tracer desktop suite, which is connected to your Tracer hardware wallet. That way you can safely store your Ripple offline. And then I will also show you how to then send that Ripple back to another address or exchange. Um, that way you know how to both send and receive your coins. So obviously the first thing you want to do is make sure that your Tracer device is plugged in and unlocked, and then you'll be on your desktop suite. And once you're on your suite, you can see that Ripple is currently integrated into the Tracer desktop suite itself. So we don't need to do anything like add a contract address like you do with some Ethereum tokens. You can just make sure that uh, you've enabled your asset, which is Ripple. Um, if for some reason you don't see Ripple here by default, all you would do is go to enable more coins, and then you would make sure that Ripple is checked on. And then once you've done that, you can just go back on over to dashboard and then you'll, you will see um, Ripple has been added right there. Now, once we have Ripple added, you can just click on it. So if you've never used your Ripple account before on your Tracer hardware wallet, you're gonna see a disclaimer here that basically says Ripple addresses require a minimum balance of 10 Ripple to activate and maintain the account. So what we need to do now is make sure that we have some Ripple in our account. So we need to receive some coins. So at this point, we're gonna hit receive and it's gonna show your account address. This is where we're gonna be withdrawing our Ripple coins from the exchange to this address. So we can hit show full address and then you'll see your full address pop up here on the screen. And this is where you can choose to copy this. If you wanna double check, which you should always do, you can look at your Tracer hardware wallet to make sure the screen is showing the exact same address here as it is on the device. Once you do that and they match, you can hit confirm. And once you hit the green check mark, it will show now you can copy the address using this icon. So if you want, you can just hit copy address. And now we are ready to head on over to the exchange and withdraw some Ripple. So now I'm just gonna close this window and I'm gonna bring up Mandela Exchange, which is where I currently have some Ripple I've purchased for this demo. And I'm going to make sure that when I withdraw, I choose the correct network. Now you can see here for Ripple, there's multiple networks you can withdraw from. Um, for this demo where you're using the Ripple network, as you can see, the transaction fees are very minimal. If you switch on over to something like Ethereum, you can see that if you wanted to do an Ethereum wrapped version of it, it would cost you obviously a lot more to uh, withdraw using that network, considering network fees are much higher. Uh, so for obviously for today's demo, we are on the Ripple network. We're gonna be pasting in our Ripple address here. And then we're gonna be leaving the tag empty as there's no tag required for this withdrawal, which is what we would have seen if there was one, we would have seen it on the desktop suite when it gave us our address. So now all I'm gonna do now is hit maximum amount. And then I'm gonna choose no tag because we don't have one. And then I'm gonna submit my XRP for withdrawal. All right, and I've submitted my withdrawal request for my Ripple. And now we can head back on over to our Tracer desktop suite and wait for our Ripple coins to arrive in our hardware wallet. All right, we're back on Tracer desktop suite and you can see that my Ripple has now made it to my Tracer hardware wallet. So now if I want, I can unplug my Tracer device, put it away and keep my Ripple safely stored offline in my hardware wallet and in my custody. That way it can't be hacked and it is completely safe. Now, if I'm gonna reverse this transaction and now send my Ripple off of my hardware wallet, we're gonna do that next. So to do this, we're gonna head back to our main account section here on Ripple. You can see I've obviously received my 143 Ripple from earlier, and now we wanna send it back to the exchange. So I'm gonna hit send, and then now I'm going to head back on over to Mandela Exchange, and I'm gonna show you what I talked about earlier about the destination tag and how it is required sometimes to send or receive transactions. So now if we head back on over to Mandela Exchange, you can see here that we're gonna obviously select the Ripple network and you can see for this deposit, it's asking me to submit or to tag um, an XRP deposit tag number and my address. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna copy this tag, head back on over to desktop suite and I'm going to put a destination tag in here. I'm gonna head back over to the exchange, copy my address, put this in as well select the amount that I wanna send back to the exchange. I'm just gonna hit max here. It's gonna tell me the amount in USD. Uh, and then obviously there's gonna be a fee attributed to this transaction. And now we're ready to send our Ripple from our Tracer hardware wallet back to Medal Exchange. So I'm gonna hit review and send. And now on your device, it's gonna give you a destination tag, 
the fee, the address where you're sending all of your funds to. And once you review this on your device, you can hit the green check mark if everything matches. It's gonna ask you to confirm the destination tag and the address. And then once you confirm them both, you can just hit hold to confirm. Your transaction will confirm on your device. And then you can hit send on your screen. And your Ripple has now gone from your Tracer hardware wallet, which is offline, back to the exchange, which is a basically a hot wallet on a centralized exchange. And that's it for this demo. I've shown you how to access your Ripple account through Tracer Desktop Suite and how to receive Ripple and then how to send it back out to another address. If you're enjoying the content you're seeing on this channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions and I'll get back to them as soon as possible. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you on the next video. Take care.